Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you already see, I transferred my faction to Wilderberg and now I have enough experience and enough uh, gameplay of Call of Dragons in order for me to speak more deeply about Wilderberg army units, what kind of advantages and disadvantages these army units can get. As you already know, every single legion type, doesn't matter its infantry, marksmen, cavalry, or mages, or even uh, special flying units, every each of them has a different special skills depending on your uh, faction. Let's start with uh, wolf riders, which are cavalry melee units. Uh, if we're gonna compare it to the spring wonders spring wardens uh, cavalry units are ranged so uh, the uh, wolf riders are melee cavalry units and the special skills of the wilderberg faction are these uh, uh, wolf riders can launch and counter attack when attacked by ranged units but deal half of their counter attack damage which means doesn't matter by whom you will be attacked during the battlefield uh, like for the other cavalry units, maybe the range units attack doesn't give them counter attack damage, but yeah, additional type of damage if even marksmen or flying units or even um, mages will hit you while playing as a cavalry, you will deal some half counter attack damage. The underlying rush march speed increases when approaching the target legion. After colliding with a range legion, the hero commanding this legion gains a 1000 range. Well, uh, it's amazing uh, additional buff, additional skill for the cavalry units, in my opinion. 1000 range, if uh, rage, if you are attacking the range le legion, is amazing. It means just let straight up you are using your skill. Uh, and whenever you are playing with cavalry units, it's all about using your rage skill because you are dealing damage like this. There is no normal attack damage dealer as a cavalry heroes. Most of them are dealing skill damage factor. So 1000 range is amazing buff. Legions cannot be intercepted while charging. The effect can be triggered once every 11 seconds. Well, you can play around this skill and try to charge with the enemies every 11 seconds. And you will get 1000 range out of it if the enemy will be a range unit, which is pretty amazing in my opinion. Primal Rage increases the number of units severely wounded in battle by 5% for both this legion and the enemy legion. This is primary for the pay to win players in my opinion. It won't gonna be amazing for a free to play player. That's a fact. Uh, because uh, like as a free-to-play player, whenever you're gonna hit tier 5 units, you're gonna have a lot more um, dead or severely wounded units in the Legion. The Cavalry, mainly Cavalry units, have the highest march speed. Uh, well, if we're gonna compare the Cavalry units to the Spring Wardens Cavalry ranged units, there is a big difference, totally different gameplay. Uh, like this, uh, Wilderberg Cavalry units are played around uh, regarding this underlying rush. Uh, basically, every 11 seconds you are rushing to the target legion. If it's ranged, that's even better. You're gonna get 1000 uh, range. And of course, uh, like whenever ranged units will attack you, you're gonna deal counter attack damage to them. Pretty interesting, a pretty unique skill. Um, I like it. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, the, I'm not the cavalry player. If I was, I would 100% use my calves, but generally as a free-to-play player, I'm using my cavalry only in order to farm some forts because it's the fastest way to move around the, the map. The next one with is a marksman ranged units per man. I'm the marksman main, that's my for me the most important and most interesting. The marksman ranged units can deal physical damage from a distance, pretty normal. Uh, Spear Toss increases all damage dealt by 5%, only takes effect when the Legion is composed entirely of uh, Spearman units. Well, 5% might look a pretty low number, but in order for you to get this 5%, uh, you have to uh, like unlock uh, Assault Strategies 2, and even 3% needs a lot of uh, time, a lot of resources. And in general, you can see how much uh, really percentage uh, attack wars in this game. 
and by having this 5% by being a Wilderberg and using Spermin is an amazing buff. Uh, generally, you would want to have a mana stone of like at least 5% whenever you are doing something uh, with your Legion. And imagine that you're gonna get a legendary mana stone and uh, additional to that, Spear of Toss will give you additional 5% uh, and as you should already know, Marksman is all about dealing damage. Uh, and uh, 5% uh, all damage dealt, that doesn't matter is normal attack, skill damage factor, or any kind of damage, it's gonna be increased 5%. Yep, it's a big change, and I will be using this permanent a lot, as you can see I have way more than them than cavalry units. Next one is of course uh, infantry unit, X-Men, uh, they look pretty cool uh, for the Wilderberg. Uh, let's see what kind of skills X-Men has. Uh, the expand counterattack. Uh, X Men can launch a norm counterattack when attacked by ranged units. Well, I guess this ranged units counterattack is a uh, Wilderberg thing. Uh, like even cavalry had the same skill. Uh, Perseverance. Uh, each time the legion loses three percent of its units, their physical defense increases by one point five percent, up to fifteen percent. Only takes effect when the legion is composed entirely of infantry units. Well, as a, as an infantry, you, your main job is and your main idea is to stay alive longer. Uh, one, because you're gonna be helping your ally members and in general your legions to deal more damage. And of course, uh, more time you're gonna be alive, more counterattack damage you're gonna deal, and more merits you will get. This skill is giving us the most important defense uh, up to 50%, and 50% is a lot. Uh, which is pretty cool skill, uh, pretty interesting, especially if you are a tier 5 player and playing with the infantry mainly. A smashing time increases engineering by 15% when destroying buildings in the field. Well, uh, almost every single infantry unit is a best engineering unit in the game. Uh, not a big change, uh, like even without this skill I was using my infantry for destroying or building towers. Uh, the Berserker charge march speed increases when approaching the target legion. After colliding, the target legion march speed is reduced by 75% for 8 seconds. Uh, Berserker charge can be uh, interrupted to interrupt the cavalry skill. Well, this means that if you are playing with the Wilderberg and you are playing with Axemen, uh, if the enemy cavalry will charge you, uh, your charge is better and it's going to interrupt their own charge. So, yep, I, I guess almost every single infantry unit has some kind of charge in this game. And this is the Wilderberg's charge. I don't know if you are playing as a uh, infantry mainly, especially tier 4, uh, you will enjoy it because more speed uh, is better for infantry because uh, like you are not the fastest legion type in the game. Uh, the next one will be, of course, mages, uh, satyr witches. Like in general, uh, if you are playing as a mage, I would recommend to play with League of Order. That's the best uh, mage type uh, faction in the game. But still, uh, now we are speaking about Wilderberg and the Satyr Witch's uh, skills are... Satyr's course grants a boost to a one surrounding friendly legion every three uh, seconds while in battle. Increasing their attack by 20% for 15 seconds only takes effect when a legion is composed entirely of Satyr Witches. Well, it's more like a buffer, uh, more like a supportive kind of mage. Uh, and of course, uh, everything, uh, every kind of buff which Wilderberg is giving us is about attack damage. And 20% for 15 seconds. 15 seconds is a big amount of time during the battlefield. 20% uh, is also a big amount in order to deal more damage. And I guess, you know, like in general, um, Wilderbergs are mainly marksman faction, that's why I'm playing with it, that's why I changed it, and additional 20% uh, attack uh, damage, well, it will be great for the marksman legions which are nearby. Magic, ranged magic units can deal magic damage from a distance and provide magical buffs to a friendly legions. Well, um, the Spring Wardens had a trend and they were give, giving HP, they were like more defensive type of buffer. And for the Wilderberg, as you can see, we are getting uh, attack 20% and that's great for marksmen in general. The last one, the special unit of Wilderberg is Wyvern Riders, which are marksmen ranged and flying. 
uh, unit and the special skills are wildfire increases hp by two percent and hero skill damage deals by six percent as long as the legion has not moved for six sec for four seconds while in battle well generally as a marksman you would like to stand still and attack the enemy and it won't be hard for you to trigger this buff only takes effect whenever the entire legion is composed by the wyvern riders which is pretty normal and flying marksmen can be can fly over certain terrain types and avoid being obstructed by other legions as well as deal more physical damage range damage only takes effect when the whole legion is wyvern riders uh, the most important thing about this uh, unit is that it's marksmen um, like for the spring wardens it's cavalry for uh, League of Order is mages, and for my marksmen it's wyvern riders. Another reason why I changed my faction to Wilderberg because I am a marksman main, and I want to have mainly marksman legions whenever I'm fighting against enemies. My whole idea behind why I wanted to change the faction is about the talents. Um, generally, I will have uh, the Nico and Kinara. Um, the second marksman legion will be Sandrion and Fragor. Third marksman region will be uh, Thea and Craig. And also I will bring another ranged unit, uh, Hero Pair, which is uh, Walder and Welling. And the Satires will buff my marksmen by 20% every 15 seconds, for 15 seconds. And after that I will have like four ranged unit for legion in the battlefield. I will go for Gale Step. Um, I will have I will have Hearts of S1. It's all about ranged units, of course. Long range warfare and suppressive fire, which means my main damage dealer units will be marksmen, and my satires will give my marksmen additional buffs. And the buffs from the seasonal talents will benefit me, and I hope I'm gonna have a lot of fun because I have been waiting for this moment for a long, long time. Uh, Tell me what's your plan about this season, season TI, maybe as a mage player you have a different idea, maybe you are a cavalry player, maybe you are infantry player, it's always better that we're gonna share our ideas uh, whenever we are playing the game, because that's how new hero pairs are made, new playstyles are made, and in general it's more fun to have a community in the game. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak um, about like Wilderberg unit type legions uh, special skills. Thanks for watching, I hope you are enjoying the content I'm trying to make, if you do, uh, press like, subscribe, share, it always gives me more motivation to do more videos. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, I hope you are having amazing morning, day, evening, depending on whenever you are, and yeah, I'm gonna see you very very soon, bye bye, and good luck.